Yes, and I pull it out. Pull what out? And the gem. That'd be perfect. That's a, that's a crib thing to do. I just pull it out. I also pull out the gem. He, he, like, as you hand over the gem, he, like, he was like, <whistles> like, picks it up, and he's like, where did you find something like this? It's an old family heirloom, uh, but I desperately need the money, friend. Wow. It's a very valuable gem, this one. Um, Can you tell me any more about it? What are you trying to find out? Well, it's been in my family for generations, but I've never known what it is. Well, I mean, any common gem trader would be able to tell you what it is. Obviously, they they never they never sought out the advice. What is it? It's a moonstone. <gasps> a very good one. At that. You could level up. And it's not a Pokemon <laughs> moonstone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it is a moonstone. A very a very pretty gem. <gasps> Okay, uh, but, but does it have any ma magical effects, or...? You're asking the wrong person there, my friend. Um, I don't believe so. I believe it's just a... I believe it's just a gem, but if you believe it's magical of some kind of... has some kind of magical qualities, you may, uh... You may want to get it... investigated further. I mean, what kind of price do you think I could get for something like this? Probably... well, if, you know, if you sell it to me today, I could probably give a hundred gold for it. Hmm... Okay. Uh, well, thank you. I might be back a little bit later. Okay, brilliant. I look forward to it, he says, smiling. All right, cool. I leave the shop then, uh, and I go and look for the most lavish armour person. <laughs> if I were to say give you 100 gold today, what is the greatest, brilliantest armour you could get for me? <laughs> right, who have we not done? Miri. No, you did me. Oh, yeah, I yeah, bought some rations. Uh, e, it's just Edric. Unless Hanny wants to do anything special right now. Um. No, there's. Is there any? Are any of us in the pub? Uh, currently now it's you and Kiara. I'll head back to the pub. And and Mary. <laughs> and probably start talking to them about what I overheard last night in the in the other pub. Yeah. Okay. About so the you... bandits. Yeah, you tell All me. Right, Hanimar's going to go for a slash and then join them in the conversation. I'll be two seconds. Next one. Hanimar does that. Meantime, oh god, that sounded terrible. <laughs> in the meantime, right, the adventures of Edric Wolf Siege. Yeah. Edric, you travel for a yeah. while in the night, into the night, using your devil sight to see. Like I said to you in your chat, you are. You are basically trapped in a giant net that comes down from a few, tree, from a few trees and traps you into place. Mm hmm. Uh, and then you cast a spell, Unseen Servant, to try and uh, to try and do things for you, but it doesn't do a lot because it can't really carry anything or do much at all. Cause it's basically a, it's basically an invisible force that tries and does things for you, but it has like no strength whatsoever and stuff like that. So it can't even cut rope. No, it can't pick up a dagger. I don't, well, I don't, it, or pull at the rope. I don't sorry, know. pull at the rope. Just help it, has, it has a strength of two. So it can't help me in any way whatsoever? <laughs> Not really. Like, it, it's, it's trying to find strength of two. Shit, spell alert. It's trying to find strength of two like, with another animal. Um, it's going to like a fucking... Should have been a sorcerer, man. I right, say a that shrub, shouting in the middle an, of the an awakened plant, a shrub, has strength three. Okay, so a, a plant has more strength than this invisible force. If you right. kind of, that, that's kind of like that is the kind of strength we're dealing with, we're dealing with right now. Okay. Uh, 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 okay, here's another. Here's a great example. The thing, a thing that shares strength too with you, a bat, <laughs> has the same strength as your unseen servant. So no, it cannot do that at all. Uh, a bat cannot pick up. No, that was a waste of spell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mark that off in your level one spells used. Yeah, yeah. Um, alright, well, I still try and cut myself free. Okay, can you make me... Whilst Dexter. casting my... Uh, not Elfra Sight, Devil Sight. Yeah, no, that's fine, that stays on <coughs> for uh, however long you want it. Yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba. Oh, what should we... Is there no, like, use rope in this, is there? So what kind of things will we get you to roll? So I'll just make rid of them. Blah, 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 blah. Discussion, 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 discussion. Uh, 
And unless my tag is blunt, I can't imagine it can take that long to cut through this thing. It will take a while, because you can't really move that well. Um, but the more I move, the more I cut, the more I can move, sure. It's still, yeah, it's still pretty. Th it will take you a few hours. Like I said, it's gonna, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a five-minute job. This is landed on you. It's really heavy. It's really, really, really heavy. Okay. It's, it's, it's thick rope with like weights attached to it, so it's basically pinning you down quite yeah, hard. Yeah. Okay. Like, like, kind of like it's designed to be a trap. <laughs> I'm gonna ah, need get one of those. I would like from you a. A dex check, and depending on how well you pass, or roll a dice for how many hours it takes you. What? Oh, what, sorry. Dex, dex, dex check. Yeah, D20 for you. Eight. Can I then get a D20 for you? Then, please? D6 for me? Yes. One. Six. You want to get low? Yes. Because this is how many hours it's going to be. Oh! Uh, <laughs> okay. You so, want to get low? Uh, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> you want to get low, so you roll a six. Right, so uh, let's think time wise. We went from 10 to 5, 3. Okay, you're cutting for a long time. About f oh. 3 to 4 hours or so, you estimate. Estimate, and the light starts to come up. The light, as in the sun? As or the sun, a light? As in the sun. Oh, I was going to say, like what? Torch? <laughs> yeah. A light starts to come up. And then about okay. an hour after that, you hear a. Well, well, well. What have we got here? And you like turn your head to see about five guys. They're kind of dressed in pretty bad leather armor. It's like cool. strapped, and they've got like swords and like spears and like basically makeshift weapons that they've clearly stolen from other people. Mm -hmm. And he's uh, what are you doing here, little friend? You want gold? I want gold. We yeah. can make deal. I was like, you want the D as wave. <laughs> <laughs> the D oh, yeah. you got have you got a gold from the town of you? I haven't got it, but I can get it. Really? And how are you? I know where it all is. Interesting. And I bet you do. Okay, you can come with us. And he um he picks up the net and drags you along in it. Well, a few of them do, to be fair. What? They're not going to let me out of the net? Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, so they drag you along the net. It hurts, obviously. You're being dragged along the yeah. floor by a net. And they drag you for a few hours. Uh, well, no, probably not a few hours. Like an hour, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit less. You arrive in a quite a large encampment. Cool. You'd probably estimate about... 40 to 30 to 40 tents. You see a lot of people here. Yeah. Um, yeah, you see a lot of people here. You mm -hmm. then kind of drag. There's in the like obviously it, there's a quite clearly like leader's tent. It's bigger. It's in the middle. Um, and you're dragged to the like entrance of that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the the, bar, the bandits enter, and we'll leave it there for you for now. Because, okay. Because actually, no, we won't. We'll, we'll do one more thing. The bandits stay oh. for about five minutes, um, and then they come out, and you are looked down upon by a female halfling. Okay. Uh, in what looks to be extremely good armor, plate, pretty fucking good shit, and that's what we oh. view. Scheitzer. Scheitzer. And then we will continue. With the rest of you, what are the rest of you doing? Uh, uh, I'm waiting for the. Wherever we're meeting up in the pub, yeah? Everyone's there, yeah. I think, apart from. Uh, no, no, not me. Not Diggle and not Kriv. Obviously, not Edric. Um, I just out of the game, I think I'm going to have to go because I'm falling asleep. I haven't not been there very well. It's not your fault, it's just I um, don't feel very well. That's cool. We can we can, end it. Right? we can end it in about 10 15 minutes if you, if it's easier for you. That's fine by me. We can no, 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 you can carry on. Just just make sure she doesn't die. I don't really want to carry on without you though. It kind of sucks. If you know what I mean. Sorry. That's alright. I don't mind cutting it short. Yeah, I don't mind cutting it short. I mean, you know, that's alright. Okay. Session, well, if you're happy to do that. It's session, yeah, session with session with me. I don't, I don't mind how long it is. It's just you know, it is what it is. That's, that's what we play in the evenings. So that's, that's something we can't help. Obviously, everyone works. So yeah. It's a Monday. Yeah. Everyone's tired. 
It's just going to happen. That's cool. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's going ha um, to happen to everyone. You also I don't mind drink, normally. So you kind of have I an excuse. <laughs> yeah, no, it's because it's I, I was off work today. I don't really mind normally. But... Yeah, no, that's fine. So, we'll, we'll, end, okay. we'll end it fairly like 10, 10, 15 minutes, no problem. Okay. We can do my armor. We can do my armor adventure after case yeah. left. I like to leave, I like I'm to leave Edric in a horrible, horrible situation anyway. It'd be more funny. Um, okay, cool. Uh, just give me one second to kind of readjust where I was going to do story-wise. Uh, Edric's going to buy it. Yeah, you, you, you can do your armor thing quickly. What are you trying to do? We can do the armor thing later because I'm out on my own. Yeah, no, that's right. We can do it now because you're going to have to roleplay this out, obviously. All right. I want to talk to the armor dude yep, then. Okay, so I go up to him and say, what, what's the best medium armor you have, sir? For a man of your stature? Hmm. The best? Uh, I can give you a, give you this breastplate here. Uh, but it's obviously going to cost you. What what type of breastplate is it? It's like a, it's like a plate, breastplate. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, is it pretty a, good? It needs a little bit of adjusting. But, um... If you, if you, How much would something like that cost? We're looking at about 400 gold for this one. 400? What have you got in the 100 gold market? Mm, yeah, we could probably, uh, yeah, we've got some scale mail for you, I think. And he hands you like this, uh, it's like a, well, it's like a coat, um, and some like basically trousers and things. Or, or it can be, I think it can be a skirt if you prefer. Uh, <laughs> tell you what, for 100 gold, can you emblazon my initials on the front and make it look all neat? He kind of like, yeah, okay, okay. Um, says, yeah, okay. So he like gets this suit of like scale mail, which is basically like metal plates kind of strapped together, and it's like a top piece, a bottom piece, and it's got like gloves or gauntlets at the same at the same time. Could I be able to fit that under under my kind of ornate robe thing I'm wearing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can wear a robe over the top of it, no problem. He so says, I yeah, okay, I okay. ask him um I've got I've got this ring this sigil ring I kind of like the symbol on the sigil to be on the breast. What is on the symbol? What is the symbol? Oh shit! I can't remember. Um, I, believe, I believe your sigil is the two headed donkey. Is what you said oh yeah, that's the one. So there's a two headed yeah. donkey on your sigil, and he said, "Did you want a name on it?" Uh, just <laughs> no. The the sigil's enough. The sigil's the sigil. enough. Okay, okay, I could probably do that. Um, All right. You take a. Probably take me a day. It'll probably take me the rest of the day. I'll have to um, slightly adjust this for you, and then um, emblazon the emblazon the this. Try and get the sigil on it. Okay, I'll go and get the money, and I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, Actually or do you mean by the end of the day? Well, I'll see you tomorrow. But, um, is okay, it possible okay. To get paid now. Uh, uh, yes, oh, yes. Let me go and get the money. Brilliant. Okay, so I take it you go back to the jeweler, sell the gem, come back and give them the money, right? Yeah, fuck it. That's fine. You do that. Remove the gem. Unless you can pull the same con again. <laughs> Actually, I, I say to him, um, I'll give you half the money now. Um, That's fine. And half on collection. That's fine. Although, um... Actually, no, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, see you later. Okay, so, That's me done. So, remove the gem from your sheet, add 50 gold to your sheet. Um, yep. And then write a note that you need to pick up your armor because if you forget, then you lose it. Um, Kriv, what are you doing quickly? Anything interesting? Can I, uh, um, I haven't got any gold, have I? Um, fuck. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, no, I'm just gonna go back to the pub. Yep. I can't okay. think of anything else. Kiara, anything? Yep. Nope, Hanimar, anything? Nope. M Miri, anything? Meet up in the pub. Miri, anything? Nope. Okay, cool. Nope. So your your mind starts to wonder as where the fuck Edric was, because no one really saw him last night. He just disappeared completely. Yep. Uh, but the last the last time he was seen was uh, Kriv and Diggle saw him at the guard, and then you left before he left, so you have no idea where he is at all. Um, oh. And yes. Edric, you obviously, you are like shadowed over by this little halfling looking at you smiling okay and that's where we'll leave it for now it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing cool right guess... gentlemen who's up for some vampire <laughs> fighting give me one second I will see if I can get some XP although it's not going to make a huge amount because nothing was really done apart from a little bit of role playing in fact no no nothing at all no fine that is that so we will uh... we don't get any XP no there was uh? no well pfft. 
let me check out daily XP because you're three, you're level three now, so you actually need something. What's that? Got my program. I'm up for, for some vampire killing.